All right, good morning, everybody. We're gonna get started in about a minute. Welcome to the call. Good morning, everybody. I guess this afternoon in the East Coast, good afternoon, everybody in the East Coast, 11 a.m., almost lunch for you guys. Good morning. Super early morning for everybody in Hawaii. 5 a.m., you guys are absolute champions. Can't believe it. Aloha. Wow, there's people dialing in from Korea. It's a uh, good evening slash midnight there now. Good evening, Korea. Good morning, West Coast. Annyeonghaseyo. Hello. Hello, annyeonghaseyo. Southern California, good morning. Only 8 o'clock. Hawaii, good morning, 5 a.m. New Jersey, good afternoon, sir. 11 a.m. there for you now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. There he is. Good morning. Good morning. What's happening? Let's see. Having some, having some Wi-Fi challenges here this morning. In the office for some reason. Let's see. I think it's okay now. All right. Mr. Han, am I coming through okay? Is it cutting in and out? No, you're coming in clear, sir. Ah, oh, perfect, perfect. How you feeling, Mr. Ryan? I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> what a champion, man. What a champion. Well, uh, appreciate everybody being on. Good morning, GPS. Um, hope everybody's well. Good morning, Mr. James uh, Fishett. Good morning. Mr. Mine Joseph. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, Mr. David. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Chuck. Good morning, Yolanda. <laughs> uh, Mr. Steve Yan, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Carl. Good morning, Mr. Dustin. <clears throat> Good morning, Galaxy Note 8. <laughs> Jared, what's happening, man? Good morning. Nadine, good morning. Mr. Neeson, good morning. Good morning. Chika-san, good morning, good morning. Everybody in Japan so excited yesterday. <laughs> A lot of um, excitement going on in Japan. Mr. Frederick, good morning. Mr. Rob Griffin, good morning. I think you're lying. I'm just playing. So, <laughs> Mr. David, <laughs> good morning, good morning, Christopher, good morning, Russell, good morning, Donnie, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody, good morning to everybody, you know, it's, um, I, I don't know about you, I like um, starting our day together and, you know, it um, definitely makes uh Makes us more productive. I don't know. I feel like, um, and it's been fun for me. So today, um, you know, just like yesterday. Oh, well, first of all, I heard many of you got your ADP um, card um, yesterday, and maybe some of you getting it today. And and I saw some of you already starting to um, use the card and and um, wire funds. And you know, it's uh, it's very um, it's very exciting. So congratulations. If you haven't yet, I'm sure you will. Uh, today, tomorrow, uh, we're very excited. And um, it's exciting, man. And Jerry, oh, wow, you got people from Korea. That's great. Congratulations. 
All right. Well, good morning, everybody. We're very excited. You know, I have uh, um, to officially start July together. Um, you know, it's, uh, I was just talking to a bunch of our leaders from Asia about how they just finished their first day of July. Um, and, and they're talking about all the stories. And, and it's kind of crazy. We just finished first day um, because now, um, right now, it's midnight in Japan and Korea starting July 2nd, and we're just starting July 1st together. <laughs> um, so it's kind of fun, exciting. So, um, you know, hopefully everybody's happy with their results in June. Um, you know, hopefully everybody is um, happy and excited about the results they created during pre-launch and the official first month of launch. So we want to congratulate many of you. Uh, many of you have done a tremendous job. Um, but, you know, July 1st begins today. You know, so I want to talk to you a little bit about um, since we're starting a uh, new month and we're starting the second half of this year, uh, we're starting, you know, now after the pre-launch and the launch um, time, we're starting our regular business um, today. You know, I think it's going to be very important for some of us to really put some good goals and plans for July and the second half of 2020. Um, to really do some big things. I mean, just think about it. There are a lot of businesses out there. You know, how many of you guys said, you know, there are three, there are three different types in my opinion. Um, one type, you know, whenever they open up a restaurant or shop or whatever, they have a big old grand opening sign. And, and um, you know, there are one type of businesses where um, during the opening, during grand opening, I mean, you've probably been to, you've been invited to probably your friends opening up a restaurant or, um, or, or, or some kind of a business. And how many have ever been in a situation? I mean, the first day opening party, so many people are there. It's bang, like um, it's, it's, it's booming and, and, and people are excited. And, and, you know, it feels like things are great. But after first week or month of grand opening, second month you go, it's like, um, you know, it's, 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 um, it's, uh, it's not that busy. <laughs> You know, um, you've probably been to restaurants and different businesses like that. That's a one way um, um, to operate a business. You know, you can't, um, you, you know, that's, and, but a lot of businesses end up, you know, ending, end up um, operating that way. And then I'll talk about why and talk about what we have to do. Um, second um, type of um, opening is, Somebody just has a grand opening sign. You know, you ever seen those businesses? It could be some restaurants. It could be, I don't know, sometimes some stores or um, whatever. But, you know, they, they, they had a grand opening sign 10 years ago. And, and the grand opening banner um, is so dirty and old and rusty and ripped. But it's still, they leave it on. <laughs> you, you guys ever seen businesses like that? Um, 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 you know, I, I see them around like um, town sometimes and it's kind of funny because like, dude, I saw this sign 10 years ago and signs so old. Um, but um, I don't know, I guess in a way it's good that they have a grand opening mentality. <laughs> and, uh, or, um, or why do they leave it up? I mean, maybe they, um, you know, they think that, you know, people just love grand opening, you know, <laughs> and, uh, they, and uh, maybe maybe bring in a couple more customers, I guess. Um, but there are successful businesses where they, um, you know, they have an incredible launch, um, grand opening, you know, party or grand opening event, um, and they continue. And the second month, and the third month, and the fourth month, fifth month, and one year, two year, three year, it keeps growing, and it keeps, um, you know, expanding, and it keeps doing even better and better. And you see um, the menu get better. You see the interior even improve. You see the expansion happen. Um, you see it even turn into franchise and open multiple locations. Um, there are businesses like that. So if it was up to you, just, just think about this. If it was up to you, would you want number one scenario where during the grand opening is packed and next month it's like there are more flights flying in the restaurant than customers eating? <laughs> um, um, would you like that scenario number one or number two just you know leave your grand opening sign up all year for 10 years for for a decade or number three um 
you you want to establish good business where you have an incredible opening, but you have better second month, you have better third month, you have better fourth month, you have a better second year, third year, and 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 five ten years, you you build a legacy, you build an empire, um, and and what you start as so small in your city in your town becomes a national international business for you, um, and that's number three. I mean, if it was up to you, would you want number one scenario, number two scenario, number three scenario? Which one would you want to build? I mean, the answer is obvious, right? That it's an obvious question. It's of course the third scenario is what you want, what I want, what we all want. And so what is the difference? What is the difference between first scenario, second scenario, and third scenario? It's business operating, it's business management, you know, um, and, and as an entrepreneur, as a businessman, businesswoman, as a business person, um, as, as a marketer, as you go out there and, and operate your, your GPS opportunity. Because how many of you understand that growing your business and keeping it consistent and growing it, expanding it, and, and, and building a giant business for yourself. I mean, think about it. You becoming influencer 10K, it is a big deal. Would you, wouldn't you agree with that? You becoming influencer 50K is a big deal. You know, many business owners out there, many CEOs out there don't make $50,000 a month in said bonuses. Would you guys agree with that? Um, influencer 50K is a huge deal. Um, if somebody gets to the level of influencer 50K, that's probably earning more than 99% of CEOs around the world, right? Um, you know, at, 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 at influencer 50K level income, even at influencer 25K level income, um, it would put you in a very, very unique uh, financial category. Um, for you to become an influencer 100K, 200K, I mean, it's huge, right? Some people could build $100 million company and never be able to take that much um, income, personal income for themselves. And, and you could do all that without taking the risk of overhead of, of um, employees and, and, and operation costs and the, um, inventory management and, and all those things that, you know, traditionally business owners have to um, um, worry about, you know. So it's a very unique opportunity, but for you to go out there and create that type of result, you got to start running a business like a business owner. I tell people all the time, you know, beauty of our marketing is you could do part-time, you could do full-time, and you could do sometime. But how, however, I tell people, um, if you do sometime, um, <laughs> you know, you know people like that, they do sometime, they're not full-time, they're not part-time, but they're like sometime. Sometime is people that only do it whenever they feel like it. Um, that's a hobby, it's not a business. Um, you cannot, you could run a part-time business, you could run a full-time business, but you couldn't run a sometime business. You know, so, you know, if you treat it like a hobby, I tell people it's gonna cost you money like a hobby, but if you treat it like a business and run it like a business, it can make you, uh, 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 if you, it can make money like a business. And if you treat it like um, a big corporation, if you treat it like a big business, guess what? It's gonna pay you like it's big business. If you treat it like your own billion dollar company within the company, it's gonna pay you like you own a billion dollar company. And, 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 and that's the beauty of this, um, free enterprise. It's the beauty of our system. It's the beauty of our industry. So how do you how do you run it? How do you create a scenario for you within GPS as a third scenario that what we just talked about? You had a great opening, but you're going to have a better second month. You're going to have a better third month. And you keep that on. Um, and you keep growing. You keep expanding. And you um, create an incredible success story for yourself. So how do you do that? How do you do that? What do you think is the most important thing to do? Just think about it logically. Just think about it. If you just open up a business, your second month, how would you do that? You know, number one, obviously, you want to have a great environment. You want to have a very great um, system. You want to have great team set up where everything that needs to be done, you know, people are coming together and doing it. All those things are going to be very important, right? Obviously. Um, but how would you do it? In my opinion, and if you're taking notes, and this is the main thing that I want to talk to you about before and we start um, answering questions here. He said, where do you think it starts? You know, how, do you, how would you do that? How would you make sure that second and third and fourth month is better? Um, and how would you make sure that second half of the year is better? How would you make sure that year two is better? Where do you think it starts? Duplicate your production, that's true. 
but before that, you got to start with something, you know, and, and that's true. The activity, yes, duplicate your production. That's where it comes from. Where do you think it starts? Here's where it starts. You ready? Here's where it starts. It starts, make a decision, Jeff. That's true. So make a decision to do what? Decision to do what? So here's where it starts. You ready? Um, you got to design it. You got to plan it. You know, you got to, everything starts with the plan. Yes, yes, it starts with you, that's true. But it starts with you, it starts with, um, it starts with decision, it starts with, um, yes, it will happen with um, duplication of um, the production, yes. But all of that, so make a decision to do what? Just make a decision, um, you know, and, and yes, you, but to do what? You got a plan, you got a plan. You know, you, you gotta you gotta plan your business and you gotta design it um, the way you want it to be. I could guarantee you businesses that had a better second month than the first month. I could guarantee you the businesses that had better third month than the second month, they had a plan. You know, a lot of people ask me, especially as we you know do business for a long term together, and a lot of people, um, you will hear it, you know, people ask me. Hey, how can I make sure that I'm number one next year? Here's, here, here's the truth. Person that becomes number one in the company next year, they don't just get there, they plan on getting there long before they get there. You know, there's all saying, nobody that ever won a gold medal was surprised when they won a gold medal. They actually, you know, they visualized, they saw themselves getting that gold medal long before they ever entered in um, the Olympics, you know, they, the people that uh, won championship in, you know, um, basketball or, um, uh, or, or baseball or, you know, football, whatever, whatever sport, you know, they, they play, um, they vision that moment. And they didn't just vision, they didn't just make a decision. They didn't just um, um, said, I'm going to do it. No, they, they planned it. You know, if I, for me to get to that skill level, for me to create that type of results, for me to create hundred thousand dollars in business, million dollars in business. For me to create, ten, build a $10 million company within a company. Ask yourself, how many of you want to build a million dollar company within GPS for yourself, for your business to do you know, a, a million dollars in sales? How many of you want to build a $10 million company within the company? How many of you want to build a hundred million dollar company within the company? How many of you want to build a billion dollar company within the company? I can tell you that we have plans to become a multi-billion dollar company. So we have room for every single one of you here to make a decision to build it as big as you want. You know, but it starts with the plan. And plan isn't just a big picture and a decision. Plan is going down to the detail. It's just like, you know, it's just like building a, a, a house or doing a remodel on your home or, or office. Yes, you draw the big picture first. After that, you do have to break it down. You gotta break it down. You know, you gotta break it down. How many rooms, you know, how, what's the square footage of the, uh, um, what's the dimension of the kitchen and the bedroom and the bathroom and, and the, um, you know, and, and, and how thick is the wall gonna be? You know what, I mean, you gotta break it down. <laughs> you gotta know what you're gonna use. Would you guys agree with that? Now, beautiful thing about GPS is it's not as complicated. You know, it's not as complicated, but you do have to plan. Just because it's not as complicated as um, starting your own restaurant, just because it's not as complicated as building a house, doesn't mean that you could do it without a plan. Mr. Jim Rohn said it the best. He said, if I see somebody laying bricks down and they're building something, and if you go up to them and I ask them, hey, what are you building? And if their answer is, I'm not sure, I don't know, he said, you should take them to a mental hospital. <laughs> uh, words from Mr. Jim Rohn. Hey, talking about Mr. Jim Rohn, my good friend, Mr. Shu, he found, through our other good friend who lives in Australia now, David, he found a video clip. He found a video, like 30, 40 minute video of when we went to Jim Rohn Live Challenge to Succeed seminar back in 2004, June. Um, so this is uh, 16 years ago. <laughs> and he found it. 
And um, I, you know, it's so amazing because you see parts of the training, but also so many of my friends that were there with me. Um, and you see um, all of us, we all used to, I mean, I still am a big fan of black and gold. I don't know if you could, um, you noticed that or not, but even back then, um, myself, and a lot of my friends working together, we always wore black and gold. So, you know, we uh, all dressed up in black and gold and, and um, you know, uh, Mr. Ulysses was there and, and um, um, so many friends were there. Um, my, my, my brother was there. And, and um, you know, afterwards, people were taking pictures with Mr. Jim Rohn, and and I don't know if this guy, whoever was filming, didn't like me or whatnot. But man, I have a 0.3 seconds of me and Mr. Jim Rohn right next to each other, <laughs> caught on the video, and he stopped it. I don't know why. I mean, I mean, I wish he caught the whole moment, but I appreciate 0.3 seconds of um, you know um, being right next to Mr. Jim Rohn and and. Um, and having it on video, you know, 2004. So that's exciting. Um, um, if you don't know Mr. Jim Rohn, go to go go check out his materials. I, I study his materials. I've been studying his materials for 20 years. Jim Rohn. If you if you ask me, hey, what's the best program out there? I will say, um, get a copy of Building Your Network Marketing Business. It's a one-hour CD audio program. You can probably find it digitally online too. And second program is called Challenge to Succeed. It's a four hour program. Um, I've listened to that program thousands of times over the, over the years, um, but those two programs have absolutely changed my life. So, you know, nowadays, you know, there's so many digital ways for you to get it. You probably don't even have to get CDs or cassette tapes, but um, um, you know, so anyways, so that's exciting. So you gotta put a plan. It's not as complicated as opening up a restaurant or a venture capital company or IT company or you know building a house but you do need a plan what kind of plan I was talking to a really good friend yesterday and we're talking about different game plans for July and next 90 days and the income they want to be at is 5,000 or 10,000 when we're talking about that let's just look at GPS and plan this out so let's just say I said Hey, I want to make sure that I'm making five to ten thousand dollars a month in my GPS business in the next ninety days of time. That's a good goal. Would you guys agree with that? You know, that's a good goal. So, how would you do that? How would you do that? Okay, five to ten thousand. Here's a very simple way to look at it: become an influencer five thousand. If you become an influencer five thousand, you know the monthly influencer level bonus is going to be five thousand dollars, right? And you know that, um, you know, between um, the group influencer marketing commission, influencer marketing commission, leadership matching, and, you know, um, and some of the level of management bonus, all those things, you're going to be looking at anywhere between seven dollars to $10,000 in total bonuses and commissions. Um, you know, they depends on how many people you personally enroll and how well they're doing, you know, on the leadership matching side. So to make five to $10,000 a month in GPS plan, if you study the compensation plan, you would say, okay, I need to become an influencer 5,000. So let's take a look at this. If I wanted to become an influencer 5,000, maybe for some of you, that's gonna be your July goal. Some of you, maybe that's gonna be your September goal, next 90 days goal, whatever your level of desire is. I'm just using 5,000 as an example, okay? Influencer 5,000. Okay, you make a decision, but you got a plan. You can't just say, I want to become an influencer of 5,000 and make 10 grand a month, and you just end there and expect things to happen. That's like, that's like scenario one. Like, you know, you may not have customers show up tomorrow. So after making the decision, you got a plan. So let's take a look at it. Let's go down to the details. How do you become an influencer of 5,000? What's the qualification for you to become an influencer of 5,000? Okay, well, if you, um, if you haven't studied the complaint, let me explain. <laughs> it's it's 50,000 BV, IV, you know, 50,000 influencer volume um, on, on one side uh, in your working leg. If you already have a carried over, um, you know, influencer volume, but if you don't, if you don't have it, let's just say you start from scratch. Let's just say right now, both of your teams, left team and right team, let's just say your volume, influencer volume is zero, okay? If that's the case, I just need to build two teams 
that will generate 50,000 influencer volume on the left, 50,000 influencer volume on the right, and I become influencer 5,000, right? You know, so, yep, Mr. Mr. David um, Nieves says it right there, right? So how do you get 50,000? Well, we know, now they could be influencer, they could be a customer, it doesn't matter. We know that if somebody becomes, if a, a set of VR device with the content, right? Set of VR device and a content gives you what? 500 ID, right? So currently it gives you 500 ID for one customer or influencer um, that purchases VR device and the content gives 500 ID. So how do you get to 50,000? 500 times 100 is 50,000, which means I just need 100 customers or influencers on the left team and 100 customers or influencers on the right team and I become an influencer um, 5K. And I will put myself in a position where I'm making between five to $10,000, right? So somebody says, oh man, 100 and 100, that seems like a lot. Is it? Let's take a look. Because it's not just you, it's you building a team and your team's effort together. Now, here's the thing. It's like math, you know, in, in planning. And I love how Mr. Jim Rohn explained it. When you set goals and when you plan your business, when you design your results of the business, he said the key is to break it down to smaller, um, break it down small enough where you will feel comfortable. If you could break it down small enough, and, and it's just like math equation, right? You could go take algebra, you could take finite math, you could go um, take, have a very challenging math uh, 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 problem to solve. And the truth of the matter is, it doesn't matter how big um, or difficult the math problem is, if you break it down, it's just all addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. You just gotta break it down small enough where you feel comfortable about adding or multiplying or whatever you've got to do. Our, 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 our business is no different. 10 sounds like a lot. Um, 100, 100 and sounds like a but. If you, but if you break it down, what is 100 customers and influence? Um, really, it doesn't matter if they're customers and influence. 100. We moving hundred is only three or four a day. Would you agree with that? Three or four customers be either you doing it or somebody in your team doing it, but three or four of VR customers being moved every day of the month that I'm operating. Maybe I only operate 25 days a month. Okay, then it's four a day. Maybe I only operate 20 days a month. Okay, then you need a five a day. <laughs> now somebody say, well, you know, okay, five sounds a lot better than 100. Four sounds a lot better than 100. Okay, so how would you get four? How would you get four? You know, how would you get four? What if you build a team of five people or 10 people? What if you build a team of four people that just get one customer? What if you just build a team of 10 people they work on? Their all goal was to go, to go out there and have enough exposures, either on Zoom or in person, for them to go out there and showcase and have people um, 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 either join the business or become a customer. Boom. What if you got 20 people working on it? You just need four people to have one and 16 of them to not even have one today. So you just got to break it down small enough where you can feel comfortable. So as I was talking to this uh, couple yesterday about, you know, setting goals to make five to $10,000 a month, um, really what I told them is, okay, it's just three, four a day. Is this having, building a team where your whole team is just making sure that three, four customers are, are coming in every day. You know, how many of you, maybe some of you are, 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 it wasn't around back then, but you know, long time ago, I, any of you remember getting like uh, cold calls from MCI <laughs> asking you to change your long distance? Like, you know, like 30 years ago, that's how 25 years ago, uh, um, that's how they used to do business, right? And, and you know, when they used to show up to work, they, they, they had a quota. I mean, they literally had to get 
um, I forgot the number. I don't know if it was 30 or, you know, 40 or, you know, whatever it was, customers a day. <laughs> and they were, they were doing old calls, like auto dial. They had to literally have the thing on, headset on. And, and it wasn't like they had to dial. No, they dial for you. <laughs> as soon as you want to disconnect, you were talking to the next person. And, and they would literally show up to work eight hours a day. And they literally used to have to get like 30, 40 customers a day. Or they didn't have a job. You know, so somebody says, how do you become a really powerful entrepreneur? I tell them, man, you got to have two of you. You got to have two of you. What does that mean? You want to become the most, you want to become the best employee of your business for you. You want to become the best employee for you, but also you want to become the toughest boss for you. <laughs> so I kind of uh, vision, there's two of me. And one's the toughest boss and one's the uh, uh, hardest working employee in my business. You know what I'm saying? So you got to put accountability for you. You got to make sure that, hey, I have to get four. I, I remember used to setting, set, I used to break these things down and I used to have daily goals. And I used to literally have a mentality, man. I'm going to knock it out before afternoon. I'm going to knock it out before the evening and boom, and I'm going to celebrate. And my also mentality, my other mentality was, hey, if I don't get it done, I ain't sleep. I will do whatever it takes and get that done before I go to bed at night. And, and, and those were just, you know, that, that was just installed in me. So it didn't matter if it was one a day or two a day or three a day or four a day. Um, you know, and, and, and that's how I set up my daily goals. So let's talk about you. Okay, maybe your goal is to make 5,000 this month. Maybe your goal is to make 1,000 this month. Maybe your goal is to make 10,000 this month. Maybe your goal is to become influencer 5K, 10K, whatever it may be. Think about it. Three, four a day from both teams, you're going to get yourself to influencer 5K. So if you think about it, just think about it like this. Making five to $10,000 a month in GPS, it's just simply making sure that you have three or four customers being signed up one on the left and three, four customers a day coming in on the right. That's it. If you could just make sure that you monitor that every day, you will get yourself to make sure that you become influencer 5K or higher for you to go out there and get yourself five to $10,000 an hour. So us spending morning time together, like I want you guys to July and a half of 2020, and they have a clear plan, not just the big picture, but broken down daily, weekly, what you need to get done and make sure that you take the responsibility of getting that done daily. Does that make sense to you? And if you could start the practice of that. Now, maybe today, maybe first day, maybe you try it, but maybe you don't hit your goal. Maybe you, you come short. Maybe you wanted to get three or four, but maybe you only got one or two. It's okay. Tomorrow, pick it back up. You know, what if it took you two weeks what if it took you one month? What if it took you three months to get in a habit of hitting your goals? Because let me promise you something. Hitting goals and having daily discipline, it's a habit. And if you're not used to doing it, it may take you a few days or a couple of weeks or a few weeks of time for you to get to a place where you can set goals and you get it done no matter what. But once you develop the habit of setting goals and achieving small ones, daily ones, weekly ones, and once you get in a habit of doing that, you become an absolute champion. Whatever goals you set, you will achieve it every single time. You know, it gets to a point, you get so used to that, guys, and you get so much fun. Whenever I launch a product, uh, whenever we launch a GPS commerce product every week, <laughs> you know what's funny? I, I have a meeting with my executive team, our general manager, and our, you know, our sales um, uh, uh, support. Um, and, um, and our IT and, and, you know, we have a full meeting and I always give them a number of exactly what I think it's going to be. Um, you know, I, I, I just give them a number. I said, we launched this, this is how much revenue we're going to We launched this, this is how many we're going to sell. And then we launched this, here's how much volume we're going to do. And, and we share that. And you know, what's crazy is 90% of the time it's accurate. Whenever I said events, you know, like if I, if, when, when, when things are open, when we're doing big events, like it doesn't matter if I, I mean, if it's a hundred people meeting, 500 people meeting, 10,000 people meeting, 13,000 people meeting. And guess what? Oh, hold on one second. Hold on.
Sorry, there was a doorbell. So, you know, um, yeah, so it doesn't matter if it's 100 people meeting or 10,000 people meeting. I will literally get to, um, I, I, I'll literally say, hey, this is how many we're going to have. And I'm telling you, it's like 90% of the time it's accurate. And I only share that with you is because you could develop that habit. You could develop that habit by what? Practicing setting daily goals. Practicing setting weekly goals. Practicing setting monthly goals. And when setting goals, what's important is don't be afraid to miss. Now, be, be hard on yourself. Be strict on yourself enough to give your absolute best to make sure it's done. But don't be afraid to miss. Who cares? You give your absolute best and do whatever it takes and you do it until to get it done. But when the day ends, everything starts over. So that's why I call that the second scenario, grand opening mindset. <laughs> I mean, I think it's actually a good thing that every day you could restart. Every day you could start fresh. But until, here's the way I look at it. Until I develop the habit of hitting my daily goals, until I develop the habit of hitting my daily goals, it's just a practice and a warm up until I get in the habit of hitting my goals. So maybe it's gonna take you a few days. Maybe it's gonna take you a few weeks. Maybe it's gonna take you a few months. But who cares if it took you three months or six months or nine months? What if you tried it every day for six months and you finally get in a habit of setting goals and hitting your goals every day? What if it took you six months to do that? And rest after six months, after six months, you set goals, you hit it every time. <laughs> I mean, rest of your life is going to be good. <laughs> Would you agree with that? If it took you three weeks, if it took you three months, if it took you even a year, who cares? But you get there by setting goals and you're going after them every single day. Yes, you're right. You want to set achievable goals. But also, I believe that achievable goals um, need to be stretched and do bigger and do more every single time. So let's come back to what we're talking about for you this month and second half of 2020 because it started. I want you to set a goal this year to become an influencer 10K. That's just, if anybody's personally working with me, I'll tell them, hey, you gotta set a goal to minimum become influencer 10K. Why? It gets you in the domestic leadership pool. I want you to be part of the pool. I want you to be part of the pool. It puts you in a leadership retreat um, when things open up and when we could travel again, obviously we'll re-announce, you know, um, how and when and where, you know, once things settle down a little bit. But, you know, it will guarantee you a spot for our global retreat. You become an influencer 10K. I mean, it's a guaranteed $10,000 monthly influencer level bonus. And with every other bonus, you're going to be earning probably between fifteen dollars to $20,000 in all commissions combined which puts you in a very, very um, special, unique financial position, right? And that's probably uh, a good starting um, dream income for many people around the world. Doesn't matter what career field they may be in. So it puts you in a very good financial position, it puts you in a good uh, a, a leadership position where you probably have a lot of people in your team doing well with you. You probably have a lot of customers services. So I want to encourage you to set a common influencer 10K during second half of 2020. Get yourself in the retreat um, guarantee spot. Get yourself um, in the domestic leadership pool, pool bonus so you could get participate in the company-wide revenue um, I'm sharing um, pool. But also, more importantly, get yourself in a position where you now know that any goal you set, you will achieve. Any goals you set, you will achieve because you have developed a habit and you have mastered the game of setting goals and achieving them daily. And I'm telling you, that's going to make the, make the difference. I love what Mr. Jim Rohn said. Don't go through the day, get from the day. I'll tell you today, don't go through July, get from July. What's the difference between going through it and getting from it? You gotta get there before it gets to you, which means July results, you shouldn't be surprised on July 31st. No, 
you should design how your July is going to look like and you get from it. This is what you want and you're going to get from July. You get, you set what you want done this week and you get from it. Not go through it, but get from it. So what are you going to do in July? Are you going to become influencer 5K? Are you going to become influencer 10K? Are you going to become influencer 2,500? Are you going to become influencer 1,000? Design it. Break it down where you will feel comfortable enough on you going after it daily. And let's get it done, guys. I'm telling you, at the small level of one a day, two a day, three a day, four a day, and you monitoring, and you intentionally monitoring and designing and producing, that we, that's how you're going to end up in a place where you're doing now 10 a day, 20 a day, 30 a day, 100 a day, 300 a day, 500 a day. And that's what you guys were talking about earlier yes it's the duplication of results duplication of production you're not going to be able to do 300 a day you're not going to be able to do 3,000 a day personally but you can build a team they can but without a plan nobody joins the team if i said hey let's go you say where i said i don't know <laughs> how are we getting there i don't know nobody's gonna follow you gotta have a plan you know people respect and follow people with vision vision meaning they know i love what john c maxwell said leader is someone that knows the way, shows the way, and goes the way. Which all goes back down to, you gotta have a plan. You know, it's like if you don't know where you're going, if you don't know how you're gonna get there, you're not gonna have people join your team. You know, it's one way is saying you can't lead. Well, you know, but and the other way of explaining that is you won't have anybody else to lead because nobody's gonna be in your team. Nobody joins the team without a plan. Does that make sense to you? And when you have a plan to win, it doesn't matter if you won or not. It doesn't matter if you have already won or if you haven't won any game yet. If you got a plan to win, people want to be part of it. Let me ask you something. How many of you want to have some of the most powerful entrepreneurs to join your team? You know what they're going to want to join? They're going to want to join a powerful plan. How many of you want to have how many of you want to have some of the most effective recruiters, effective customer getters, effective leaders in the industry to join your team? You know what? You know who they're going to join? You know how you have them show up in your team? Have the best winning game plan in the marketplace. And of course, GPS Opportunity has a company plan, but I'm talking about you. For them to join you, they need to know that you got a plan to win. They got to feel from you that you know that you know, not you hope, not you are going through it hoping that it would just happen because you're going to get lucky. You got to know that you know that you're going to win. You get, when you know that you know that you're going to become influencer 10K this year, when you know that you know that you are going to become 100K, influencer 200K, when you know that, and it's not just... Um, I just know it and nothing else. No, and now you have a plan coming together where you know what you're going to do today. You know what you're going to do this week. You know what you're going to do this month. And it doesn't have to be in real life, but it becomes, it, it's on paper. When it becomes, when it's on paper, when, which means you, you wrote it down, which means you wrote it down. And you wrote it down and you got a plan. And if that is the case, I'm telling you, that's when people start joining you um, left and right. That's when people join and move with you and that's how people duplicate the results because you got a clear plan does that make sense to you i i can i can generate 10 million dollars on my own but i know i could generate my first first recruit my first customer i know i could get my five i could i know i could get my 10 i know i could get step one and put two people on my team left and two people on my right and have my four people start with me i know i could do that I know I can make sure that I can make sure that there's a, at least one or two or three or four orders coming in every day. I know I could do that. And if I did that, and if I stay consistent with that, with the big picture, and I'm talking about it, I'm showing it, I'm going it, I'm doing it. That's how you duplicate and you have more and more and more people do that with you. As I start taking questions here, I, I really, really hope that everyone in the call understands the importance of not just making a decision, not just setting a plan or uh, setting a goal, but really breaking it down to your daily activities. And, and you clearly knowing exactly what you need to do daily, that you know that 5K 
in GPS is not an impossible task for you. It's a task that you could do. Remember, three or four, three or four VR customers, um, new VRs being sold in your left team and right team. You and your team ever combined will put you at an influence for 5K um, where you make anywhere between five to $10,000 in commissions. And I would highly recommend you start that today, all right? So, all right, I think some of you guys are asking some questions and making some comments. Um, uh, okay, let me briefly go through it. I, I'm not sure when I look at this, if you can see me or not. All right, South Carolina, California, good morning, good morning, good morning. Make a decision, yep, you gotta know your business, design daily model operation questions. I'm looking for question mark, question mark, question mark. Plan of action, influencer, 10K is a game changer. You are right. So no question yet. So if you got a question, we could briefly talk about it um, you know, before we end the call. Um, I am very, very, very excited about um, what's going on. And we spent a little more time than I was planning on because I really, 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 really want you to get it. I really want everybody here um, to be so clear on what, you're, what you have to do daily. And, and, and that's where it's going to start. Okay, here you go. Personal volume counts towards working life, correct. Yes, you are right. That's very unique in the industry, by the way, you know, to have personal um, customer, um, you know, um, volume and personal orders yourselves um, going into the working leg is something I personally have never seen before. So um, that's pretty exciting. Okay, I think there's a- Mr. Bay. We will have a, we'll have a tutorial in USA for customers. Um, we can, absolutely, yes. Mr. Bay, where is the, um, uh, when a new person comes in, uh, how do you determine where to break down the numbers for them without overwhelming them? That's a great or, 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 or like, you know what I mean? Like, is it possible to scare someone by thinking, hey, by that, you want to hit 5,000? Well, I just figured out that 16 exposures a day we have to create within your business. And how do I not scare that person? That's a that's a you know that's a great point, Mr. David. Um, you got to take a step by step, right? You know, so I'm being anybody that's getting on the morning GPS are pretty committed, serious people that wants to make full time income with GPS, right? Obviously, ninety percent of them are, are going to be part time. You know, making hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, thousand dollars. They're going to put very part time effort, right? So, um, so, so those are good. Um, however, um, if somebody's brand new. You got to teach them addition before you teach them multiplication and division, right? So if somebody's brand new, I'm going to start off by um, making sure that they understand step one. All right, here's step one. You know, you want to have, you want to, in, in our plan for you to move up all the way up to influence a 200K, you need two good teams. And you may have some support from your, you know, leaders or, you know, whatever, but um, you want to have two good teams that you influence and you control that you develop. And that's how you're going to guarantee yourself success. And how do you do that? It starts with completing step one. What is step one? You want to personally introduce four other influencers in your team. One, two, three, four. Two on the left, two on the right. And that is going to get you, get the foundation set up for you to go out there and, and start earning levels in, in the plan. So I will get them to start with that first, you know, and, and if they haven't done that yet, that's what I'm going to talk to them about. And as soon as they complete that, you know, you want to talk about, okay, let's help those four people to duplicate step one, right? You know, so, um, as, 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 so I would do those things first, you know, um, before, um, you know, have them complete, you know, step one and duplicating step one you know, before I talk to them about daily, um, you know, them looking at now, because daily wanted to get one a day, two a day, three a day, four days, 16 exposure a day, you know, daily, that is a team effort, right? And they need to have a team. They need to have, um, you know, five, 10, 20 people in their team before you talk to them about the team activities and, and kind of looking at it as an overall um, group activities. So, yeah, I would definitely start with step one. That's how I would do it. Check. Thank you. Thank you, sir. But if you really stop and think about it, I mean, hey, hey, what, what, what products, you know, if some of you ever, um, any of you ever done other direct sales? If any of you ever done sales before, um, just think about, just think about it. What products did you sell in the past? What businesses have you done in the past? I mean, 
in my opinion, this is the easiest thing in the world to, to talk about. Like I was talking to somebody that used to sell, um, like um, um, they were selling some expensive, uh, like a thousand dollar, like a uh, um, cosmetic brand, right? And I'm sure it was a great product, but you know, it takes, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, because, because there are thousands of choices, thousands of choices. And some are 50 bucks and some are $2,000. I mean, like, you know, and I mean, so that was challenging, right? You know, when I talked to somebody that used to, I'm like, dude, you talk about pain forever and not get paid for it, you know, <laughs> like have somebody else get the benefit of it. <laughs> you know, so like, you know, like, okay, Jen is so cars. I mean, talking about selling cars, I mean, you know, which is good, but selling cars, I'm probably looking at 20, 30, $50,000 ticket item. I was talking to somebody that used to sell cell phones and their cell phones, I mean, the hassle of somebody canceling with their current provider, um, getting a new SIM or getting a new device, breaking a contract, paying penalty, and going through the whole uh, uh, uncomfortable uh, uh, process, um, sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes two hours, sometimes two days, um, for them to actually get somebody switched over and get a new cell phone customer. I mean, that was so tough, so tough for so many people. I'm thinking, you don't, the VR, like, if you just put it on somebody for 60 seconds, they say, wow. <laughs> I mean, you just demonstrated to them people, seven of them want to buy it. Maybe three of them can't afford it, but like three or four people buy if you just demonstrate, you know? So, you know, talk about VR opportunity. I mean, like, you turn on the news. I mean, news just talk about two things, COVID and VR. I don't know. That's at least how I feel about it. <laughs> you, go, you go on Google, they talk about COVID or virtual. I mean, that's how. but maybe it's like to talk about virtual um it's just like you know so it's like it's not it's not that hard and it's fun you know and like mr david Nieva said if you have a team and you're already talking to them about to them about how many exposures they should have daily they should have fun with them the exposures are like it doesn't cost you anything to have an exposure um you know and, and if they say no it doesn't cost you anything if they say no it doesn't hurt you uh, Mr. Wu in Korea, he trains about it. If you call somebody and tell them about it and have an exposure, tell them about the opportunity or the product. If they say no, it's not like they can shoot you over the phone. It's not like they will, you know, if you, send, if you invite somebody to come take a look at Zoom, if they don't want to, it's not like they come over to your house and burn your house down. Like, <laughs> it doesn't hurt you. <laughs> and majority of people talk to them about their interests and they want to talk. So, all right. So, okay, before we wrap up, I want to go through the, Questions here. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Okay. Okay. Does everyone BB start over every month in the working leg? Yes. Now in the um, just it, it gets so working leg is the leg that you have lesser volume. You know the leg you have more volume is called a power leg, and power leg volume will always carry over. Um, you know until you use it. So uh, here we go. Um, what are a few of your favorite peak interest um, script, either for experienced network marketers or people with no experience in direct sales, clever sales and marketing? Um, you know, my, you know, I mean, if they're experienced in the industry, I just tell them, man, you know, I got something very special I just want to talk to you about. You know, I mean, and, and just go over the plan or, you know, introduce somebody, um, you know, that I'm working with, a leader I'm working with and share the information with them. You know, so I'm a pretty direct person. Um, you know, if, if they're not experienced in the industry, I just tell them, hey, there is a very unique opportunity, um, you know, um, where you can work from home and, and, and be able to um, um, cap, capitalize on what's going on in the um, VR industry. And, and um, it's very exciting. I just want you know, a few minutes of time. I want to share an opportunity. With you. you know, if, I, if I'm asking someone, I, I, I like asking the question, hey, do you keep your options open for other business opportunities? Do you keep your options open to earn additional income? I, you know, so, I mean, there's so many, so many ways to do it. It's simple. Keep it simple and invite. And at the end of the day, just share the opportunity with them. What is your plan to expand more payment method for the new people that wants to get in? What is your plan to integrate the website to our ID? Um, I talked about it yesterday, um, having personalized website. Um, you know, it's going to take some time, you know, because it's not something that our current um, partner, IT partner um, is used to doing because it's not a, um, very common practice in that side of the world um, you know so we are looking for a good long-term solution so you know that's something that we'll do um, we actually have some other payment options 
um, that we are working on for probably July implementation, uh, latest by August. We'll give you more update when it's ready. Um, can you talk about duplication? How do you get others to goal set with you? Well, you know, every you, you, it's got to be customized, right? So if I'm talking to you, I'm going to talk to you about your why. I'm going to figure out if you want to make um, $100 or $10,000 or $100,000. So I want to find out what your goals are, and I just help you set your goals for you. You know, I, I have a big picture, but, you know, and, and from there, if I'm just talking to you and doing a goal setting with you, I, I want to make sure that I, um, I, I make sure that you, um, you set, um, you know, you, your goals are for you. You know, your goals fit your goals and, and your dreams and your why. So um, it's, um, you know, it's, um, you just got to customize for them. You know, what you don't want to do is I say, hey, I want to get promoted to influence our 10K. Um, so I need you to do 2,000 BV. How are you going to do 2,000 BV? Okay, you don't want to do that, right? You know, you want to figure out what they want and only focus on them. Um, all right, so question, if Pico, if Pico has an issue, um, yes, um, you could actually um, contact GPS initially. Um, and, um, you know, which, I mean, we have tens of thousands of our devices out. Um, we haven't really had um, more than like five cases where the device itself had an issue. If your device actually is, uh, you know, like a messed up device, then um, we'll replace it for you. Um, so, um, so, um, yeah, you could contact GPS, but you know, for majority of the cases, it's just you know learning how to use it. So um, here you go. You talked about COVID on Monday. Yesterday, you talked about your friend, uh, your uh, and something in place to keep your vision going and something with. No, you know, if you could do a lot of research, we talked about it actually um, on a call. I think yesterday or the day before too. If you just go on Google and if you take a look and research, you know, it's um, it's just. Um, it does not, the VR devices, I mean, so many studies show that it's not, it's not going to harm your vision any more than, you know, if, uh, um, than any other devices out there. So, you know, it's, uh, it's not, there's no factual data of it actually um, hurting your vision or anything like that. So you won't have to worry about that. Uh, when can they develop, um, what, when can they develop a video? You could actually go, um, you, what you get for VRLU subscription, um, you could actually just go to VRLU.com and you could see all the current um, contents that are on there um, so you know exactly what to expect. So um, let's never do cell phone, please. Yeah, cell phone sales is pretty difficult. Um, best way to help potential influence customers see the value of AR, VR, VRLU app in their daily lives. The best way to do it is if you could see the person and have them experience it. You know, if you have them experience for a minute or two, it's so much more powerful than trying to explain it. Um, if they're not physically with them, you know, just go online and do your research and, you know, find a couple interesting um, video clips. I, that's how, how I like to do it. You know, if I talk to somebody that's into education, I share a clip about that. If I talk to somebody that, you know, likes travel, I just share um, some video clips um, of, of um, you know, VR traveling. So um, uh, what marketing materials are available now you just log into your my office um, you know there's a lot of different um, um, trainings and presentations and, and, and PDF and PowerPoint documents available there and um, you know and um, you could start there and um, you could do probably more stuff later uh, uh, um, it should it should um, on the summary if you go the back office doesn't show the rollover from previous month. If you go to the summary page, it should show you how much you have carried over, but I'll double check on that. Uh, you know what? If you order the second week of June, 100%, you're going to get it this week. So um, um, if you haven't received it yet, um, then you will have it this week. So, you know, you could contact... Um, you could, I mean, you, you won't have to contact GPS. I mean, there were, they, there was like, I think a few hundred of them shipped out yesterday. I think there's a few hundred more being shipped out today. Um, so I think you guys are going to be good this week. Uh, do we have a potential list of e-commerce joining? Um, not yet. Um, we are working on a lot of contracts in states now. So in a couple months, you're going to be, um, when we roll that out, you'll hear one by one. Okay. Uh, Carmatic um, no, it's that uh, we, we're not gonna 
get into that yet. We, we will have more marketing materials later. You know, we just finished our one month in operation. We, you know, we will be having more marketing materials later, but um, not at this point. Um, is, um, is an opportunity video on Pico? Um, no, um, it's, um, it's, um, you, it's, it's on our website. Um, and there are files that you could actually get from leaders that we can share with you, the 3D version that you could just, um, you know, um, upload on your, um, on your, um, on your device. Um, so I think a lot of time has gone by, so I'm just going to answer these and we'll, we'll continue tomorrow. Um, will there be an opportunity to sell multiple sets of Pico to businesses package with VRLU, discussing currently with adult daycare owner as part of their recreation or entertainment? Um, yeah, I mean, you could, you, I mean, it's pretty much how it is right now, right? It's 500 plus 99, um, you know, and, um, and it depends on quantity. I mean, if it's like by the hundreds or thousands and if it's for good cause, we may be able to talk to them, but I mean, for, you know, one, five, 10, 20, you know, 50 orders, um, there isn't going to be much that they're going to be able to do. Uh, um, uh, we do have a warehouse in California. It's, um, you know, it's, as I mentioned on the call even yesterday briefly, there's obviously we're dealing with COVID. There's, uh, you know, parts issues, there's manufacturing issues, um, and we're definitely having a little bit of um, delays. And we had, um, um, you know, um, you know, little backwater issues. So, but, you know, a lot of it, um, as I mentioned, you know, throughout our pre-launch, um, after first month, couple months of operating, it should be, you know, pretty much real time. So, I mean, that's how it is in Korea now. So, like, every day people, you know, order and they literally get it in, you know, two, three days. So, that's how it's going to be after, you know, um, probably after this month, um, you know, starting August, it should be a pretty normal schedule. Um, so, you know, you just want to share that um, um, with, um, um, with the team. Uh, no, no family discount at this time. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, content providers, Michael um, Prowl, um, to pro uh, products and services, um, DRLU for content providers for the future. Yes, not yet, but for the future. Why? Because a um, lot of these, you know, it's a VR is such a like, uh, you know, two hour regular movie is like 1.52 gigabyte of data. 10 minutes of VR um, content is like five to six gigabytes. So, you know, if you did two hours, it's like, um, it's like, you know, it's like, I mean, it's, it's so much data that to be able to upload and create your own and edit and, and, and do things, it, it's just, I mean, I mean, I could tell you our, our VR loot teams, I mean, they have like $20,000 computers and it takes them hours, you know, at, at, at the speed that they're running it, you know, so for, um, it's not, it's, it's, it's not as easy as um, traditional regular videos yet. Um, it will get better later. So, you know, just, I'm, I'm glad everybody's excited. I'm glad everybody sees the future of where it's going to go. It's all going to happen. Everything you guys are thinking and talking about will happen at the right time. So, um, I appreciate everybody joining us again this morning. Um, you know, I will try to keep these calls um, to at least a you know, maximum of an hour. Um, I know we had a lot of you know, questions popped up at the end. So um, tomorrow is Thursday and Friday. So we'll do two more days um, this week. So we got two more days. If you got a topic that you want us to kind of focus on and if you want to kind of let me know in advance, you're welcome to message me on Instagram, direct messaging. Um, uh, um, and uh, find me on Instagram. Um, and share me, send me a message and I'd love to um, prepare something for you for tomorrow and Friday as well. Have a great day, everybody. Good morning. And um, let's make it happen. We'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless. Let's have a great July.